Hello, welcome to Simple Fun Art. In this lesson, I'm going to show the proportions of the face when you're drawing a portrait and where everything goes, what lines up with what in a general face of a person, of a realist, when you're drawing a realistic person, not a cartoon or an anime or something like that, a realistic person. So first of all, a person's head is an oval or sort of like an upside down egg shape, something like that. The eyes on a person go halfway down the head, from the top of the head to the chin. That's about where the eyes would go, halfway down. There's five eye spaces from one side of the head to the other. There's one eye space in between the eyes. When I say an eye space, I'm, say, I'm talking about however big an eye is, that's how many spaces go across. There's five of those spaces across the head, the face. And there's one of those spaces in between. So if this was an eye, this was an eye. They're halfway down from the top of the crown of the head to the chin. And there's five of this size approximately across the face. And there's one in between. The nose. Okay, the nose goes halfway from the eye line, this halfway mark, to the chin. So halfway between there, approximately, is where on um, most people the nose is. The nose goes. When I draw the nose, I usually draw the line across the bottom of the nose, the pathway from one nostril across to the other side. All right, the, um, how wide is the nose? The nose is as wide as from one corner of inside corner of the eye to the other side of inside corner of the eye. If you drew a line straight down from this corner to here, that's about how wide how far this side should reach, and then it should go all the way to this side. All right, next. The, this looks a little off. Okay, so now the mouth. Where should the mouth be? All right, the, the mouth is approximately one-third space down from the bottom of the nose to the chin. So if you divided this space, the bottom of the nose to the chin, into thirds, like this, then the center line, the, the line between the lips, should be on this one-third mark. And it should reach from pupil to pupil. So if you drew a line straight down from this pupil, it should be about that big. And if you draw a line from that pupil, it should be about that big. Sometimes it's just like the dimple that goes that big, but that's about how big it is, or how wide the mouth reaches. All right, the ears. If you drew a line straight across from the top of the eye, that's where the top of the ear should go. And if you drew a line straight across from the bottom of the nose, that's where the bottom of the ear should go. Like this. I have no specific spot where the eyebrows go. but they do follow up the, the bridge of the nose, up and over, and then the eyes rest in the eye sockets like this. Something I can tell you, another tip is the neck. A lot of times beginning drawers will draw the neck too small. The neck is almost as wide as the face, like this. And on this drawing, it looks like I have super wide eyes or I'm very alert or whoever I'm drawing is very alert that's because the eyelids aren't overlapping e enough so remember that if you if you show too much of the circle of the eye it's going to make the person look scared or alert or super expressive all right now I'm just adding a little shading and I guess this person needs some hair, so let's put some hair on. I think it'll be a male.
And that is that. Those are the proportions of the face and hopefully this lesson helped you when you're drawing your faces. If you like this content and would like to see more, please subscribe and join and like and follow. Uh, simple fun art. Thank you. Have a good day.